now like you can't pick your nose without the pick the booger picker community getting offended like saying why did you not eat that booger what to the up you guys guess where we're going today can you guess can you guess can you guess i know so i don't have to guess <laughs> <laughs> somebody woke up spicy this morning <laughs> Dustin lens, I can see it in the reflector. You see that, guys? When it makes me look godly. Oh. Um, we're gonna go get this mop and that tamed. So here we go. Whoop. All right, so the place we went to didn't accept walk-ins. Um, so we're here at a fabulous restaurant having breakfast. It's called Fat Sully's. It's called Fat Sully's. I'm not going to show you around because we're like in the middle of the place. I'll show you a little bit. See around. And we're in the middle. Hi, right, babe. Yes. Sharknado. <laughs> hey, look at me, dude. Yeah. That's where we're at. Fat Sully. Of course, we gotta start with the Bloody Mary. Yeah? And what is that? This is called an apple meal. Thank apple you. meal? Meal. It's uh, bourbon with apple butter and lemon and ginger. Oh, that sounds amazing. Taste it. And the cutest little cup. Oh, wow, that tastes really good. What are your thoughts? Your emotions, awesome. your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations. Well, in 10 years. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Look at that. French toast, eggs. I want one of those. You guys, this is like so good. It's literally like stuffed with apples, with apple butter. Guys, I gotta say this is the best brunch of my life. Like these things are amazing. I can't even tell you the flavors. And to have like a Bloody Mary with a beer and a breakfast sangria on the way. Mm, mm, mm. I tell no lies. So I got one myself. Get into that, guys. That is chicken, cheddar cheese, ham. He's already halfway done with his. And that first toast is bomb as hell. And that right there was whipped cream and apples. Yes. Yes, ookie ookie. This place was awesome. Okay, guys, it's haircut time. We're off. We're literally walking. Tijon Street. Tijon. Here we go, you guys. Very nice. I love this song. Damn, this place is big. Imagine an apartment like this. I know. So here is the before. You guys are obviously aware. And um, let's see what we come up with after this. Be right back. Check it out. What? What is this? Am I beautiful again? You've been beautiful. Ah. And, and check out this stud. Ooh, baby. Wait till we get home, mother. <sighs> oh, yeah, so know. loud. They oh my know. God. They saw my haircut and they were like, hello, bitch. Oh my God. I'm just so feeling myself today. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Ooh. Sexy. So we're gonna go catch a movie. We're gonna watch Halloween. Halloweenies. Mm. So you can be scared. Yeah. Just a man. Woo! And get into that sun. I need someone to get some sunglasses. Here we go. 
movie time. So empty, it's scary. So eerie. It's so spooky. And we're back. Yes, we are. So we decided to do a little laundry. Don't ask me what that accent was because I don't know. And um, we decided to do another car show with you guys. This time today with bum, 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 Carl's Jr. Jr. That's right, Buddha. I'm gonna try to balance this little Kazama. Hey. Hey, they did this on the fries. What the hell? Bitches. <laughs> no offense. Bitches. <laughs> was someone jipped on fries or what? Like this is supposed to be a large. Like what Shady. the what? The French toast, bro. Here you go. Have my ring. But they saw me and they were like, oh, he doesn't need it. Shady. Shady queen. But look at that fry guys. Mm. I know it's wet. Let it touch you in your heart. Ooh. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. So um, we did our laundry. We came here to Walmart, but before going into Walmart, we decided to eat first. Come on, balance for me, baby. Sure. Hey, my is in a big box. <coughs> mm, these oh, fries are yeah. really good. Whoa, Jesus. So, what'd you end up getting? It's called like a pastrami thick burger. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. You gotta move that lettuce out of the way, though. Closer. Get into that, guys. Oh like meat, pastrami, something else, more meat. And it smells good. You smell good. Yeah, I do. Huh? It's been a gloomy, gloomy day today. Got off of work. Did some laundry. I'm gonna come to Walmart, buy some essentials. And then head home and put the laundry away. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. We decided to get you something first. Um, because it's getting late. And I was hungry. And I was getting hangry. Not really. I'm um, a little bit. We're truthful on this channel. Ba -ba -ba -ba. These fries are really good. This fucking burger is amazing. I keep saying bad words, I'm sorry. I know. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Mom. All right. Enough of the fries that they jipped me on. Let's get into the true showstopper. Mm -hmm. I got the chicken ranch something or other. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, chicken bacon ranch. We'll get into that side one. She said tomato. You see the Swiss. The bacon. The bacon. Bacon. Mmm. So. This is our first time eating here. Yeah. And we've heard good things about Carl's Jr. We're gonna get this sandwich a go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my just my how is it? You see how I do it guys? How is oh, it? Mighty help me. It's actually really good. Don't care for this big hard chunk of lettuce though. I'm like Trisha Paytas. Ew, vegetables. The big old fucking burger. That's a lot. I think the mustard threw me off too. Fucking good though. Mmm. It's like oniony. A little big chunk of onion and the mustard. Mmm. Uh -uh. But this. Mmm. 
Different strokes for different folks. Different folks for different strokes. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. The sandwich is on point. The bacon's really good. Even though they jipped me on my fries, but that's okay, the sandwich is good. So have you guys been? Are you guys liking these little car move models that we're doing? What we adjust to Colorado life? Yeah. I thought it'd be a nice way to close out this video of our crazy shenanigans. And have a little chit chat with you guys. A lot of you guys received the donut video very well. And so far, Krispy Kreme's the wiener. One of our subwoofers um, was actually mentioned um, there's nothing better than a Krispy Kreme donut fresh out the oven. Glazed original. Yeah, glazed original that melts in your mouth. And I have to agree, like, Krispy Kreme is still... Once that sign starts flashing, mm -hmm. <laughs> moist. That's all I can say. Mm. And Carl's Jr., I think they're like a Hardee's, right? Like a sister company, I think. I, never, I haven't had Hardee's in, oh my God. Now, since literally since a little kid, like a little kid in North Carolina. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? Tell me some of the costume ideas that you guys are coming up with. Um, I've been chit-chatting with a couple of uh, friends and they've been telling me a few of their um, up and coming costume ideas. Um, and I'm saying some of them are pretty basic. Been there, done that, we've seen it. This year we're looking to, for those costume ideas that they haven't been done yet. It's hard to find a couple costume, let alone a gay couple cost costume um, to do. Um, husband and husband, um, they actually did a really cute costume of um, Huey, Dewey, and Louie that we thought was really cute. Um, but to come up with a couple costume that hasn't been done is, oh my god, super difficile, which yeah. is difficult. Can you say difficile? Feces. So, we're gonna go again and look around maybe this weekend at some other Halloween shops. <sighs> Wouldn't be a, a car show without me burping. Sure. We bought pumpkins. That's coming in a future video uh, where we carve them. We're gonna bring bean. Halloweeny. You guys will see that soon. Well, we got some pumpkins. To get a little festive. Um, I don't know. I'm just really having a hard time like finding like actual costume ideas. I think everything's already done and played out. Or... That's the thing. And like, especially couple costumes. Like, I don't know. Especially like I like to do like do scary stuff. So what scary stuff is like that hasn't been done that can be a couple costume? The puberty monsters from Big Mouth. Mmm. But how the hell are we gonna do that costume? Because they're literally naked. Yeah. With fur. Well, that's basically me. But <laughs> if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about um, the puberty monsters from the show on Netflix called Big Mouth. If you haven't seen it, you really should check it out. It is extremely funny and well done and thought out. And basically of how kids deal with their puberty growing up. Um, and I gotta say, it's pretty spot on. Um, and it's done in a very... It's offensive. It's but... offensive. I mean, there's some offensive stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. But it's funny. But it's humorous. It's a good show. It's humor that... You would find back in the 90s, where in the, or the 80s, where it was like that to the point, dry, uncensored. you know, uncensored humor. Nowadays, you know, you can't do or say anything. I mean, I'm telling you, I feel bad for the comedians because they literally can't do or say anything without 
the risk of somebody's feelings being hurt and being a controversy like everybody like has a problem with everything now like you can't pick your nose without the pick the booger picker community getting offended like saying why did you not eat that booger it's a cartoon so i mean <clears throat> how serious can you take it you know what i mean i don't know you guys if you can think of some really cute costume ideas comment down below let us know and also let me know what you guys are going to be dressing up as Maybe I can steal one of your ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. You know, it's all in good fun. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> what are you looking at, Bia, huh? I'm looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. How about that? Jeez. We're just two guys eating, talking to a camera. Hello? Gotta be driving by us all slow. One autograph. <laughs> like seafood? Seafood. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> a little bird. <laughs> I just wish they would give me more, more fries. <laughs> they dip me on my fries. Count how many times I say that in the video. Put that down below. <clears throat> the biggest downfall of having a beer is getting food. I know, I feel like a this girl beard. With big, oh. big boobs. This is why I always have to edit my shit so much because of this one. Burping, farting, fart cursing. <gasps> so you think I've edited out so many of your queefs. It's not even funny. I think a girl with big boobs. You only get food in their boobs. I don't get food in my beard. <laughs> it's really carbonated. Yes. Okay, I'm just kidding. So anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap this up and um, go to Walmart and check it out. Oh boy! <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking around uh, this far. If you have, then you are a true subwoofer. And if you haven't, you're still a subwoofer anyway. I love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to all those beautiful things that I love for you to do. And we will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace.